Hey, UltimateGuitar.com users, and specifically you users who, like me, enjoy uploading content to the Ultimate Guitar platform. If you're like me, you've previously uploaded a shot, and later you deleted that shot from your phone or whatever device you record from. Um, you permanently delete it, and then later on you're like, man, I wanted to upload that to YouTube or Instagram, or maybe you just want to have the video right? Well today I'm going to show you a backdoor way into saving your videos. Um, Ultimate Guitar doesn't offer us a mechanism that I know of to do this so I found a little bit of a backdoor way into doing this. So let's jump right in. The video that I want to download is this shot right here. I uploaded it this past Saturday and later on that evening I deleted it from my phone and after the fact I um, wanted to post it somewhere else but I didn't have the source video so today I'm gonna go get my video so to do this you need to be on the website you can't be in the mobile app okay and furthermore I would strongly recommend when you visit the website do this from Google Chrome web browser so I'm in Google Chrome I'm at the website and more specifically I am logged into my user account so get up to speed with these kind of initial steps and then from here I'm gonna show you what to do next so the first thing you'll want to do is you're gonna go find some open space somewhere on the website like maybe out in this kinda of area over here on the left right click that's gonna pop open a, a little menu a little tooltip menu and you're gonna find an option in here you should see an option that says inspect click that what that does is it opens up your web Chrome's Google Chrome's web developer tools okay now for some of you it's gonna open up in the right for others it may open up down below in either case it doesn't really matter the steps are the same okay so when it opens up you're gonna see a few options here you're gonna see elements console sources and network you want network click that by the way, you're not going to break anything. You're not going to hurt anything by going in here. Okay, I promise you. Go to network, and then on the next, if you look down here, you're going to see a, a list of items here. Okay, you're going to want to be filtered on media. You might start out the first time you open this. It might start out as all. Well, instead of being all, it's easier if you go to media, um, and then even furthermore, you might see a long list of of things down here below listed out. If you do, let's just clear out that log, okay? Again, you're not hurting anything. On the left here, you're gonna see an option to clear. Click that, and that will make that should make your view look like mine. Your, your tools are open, um, you have network, you have media, and you have an empty log. Now, let's go to the video that you would like to download. In my case of this one, I'm gonna click it, that video is going to start up. Okay, now a few things happened here. My web browser said, hey, he clicked this thing. I'm going to go get the video. So that's this top option here, video.mp4 and then a bunch of gibberish. Okay, don't worry about what any of this means. All you need to know is that this is a link to the source content of the video. So on that link, you're going to right click it again. It's another right click and then find an option that says open in a new tab click that let's go hey my video again but this time I'm looking at the source video so from here it's just another right click anywhere in the video frame right click save as okay your, your should say save as or save video as save that I'm gonna save it to my downloads There we go. If I go to my downloads folder, you're actually going to see it twice because I um, I downloaded it twice preparing for this video. But what I just downloaded was this one with the little one in parentheses. It just means it's a copy of what I already downloaded. So let's from there. I just download. This is what I just downloaded. Downloaded today, just now, 5:29 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Double click that. There's my video. I'm looking real serious. Play. 
my video works. And I'm good. So I'm going to stop it, close this out, close my documents, my downloads. Um, this additional tab that you opened up, you can just simply close it. It's not going to hurt anything. Then go over here, and you probably don't want these developer tools open indefinitely. So all you got to do is find in the top right, there's a little X that says close. Close that. And then you are back, back to normal in your web browser, and you are now the proud owner of your video. So keep creating awesome content, you guys. And I hope that this tip is useful for you to go and download um, some of your previously uploaded shots and that it helps some of you out. I've got several um, that I've previously uploaded that I don't have an actual copy of. So I'm going to go in there and get my content. So that's it. Have a great day.